Hello, I've got for you today the, I guess, August release from Mont Blanc. This is their 2022 Writer's Edition, dedicated to Robert Louis Stevenson, Scottish author from the 19th century, most known for, of course, Treasure Island uh, and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So this year, their special edition comes in 10,000 uh, examples, about 10,000 of these particular pens. Uh, and as usual, a nice simulated box, or simulated books, box. Uh, and then, as usual, a informational booklet. I've not seen it in detail yet, but they've stuck with the matte finish. But they've got it again in all the the usual languages. So, of course, this pen pulls a lot from uh, Treasure Island. Uh, yeah, various pieces. Nothing much from the other novels. You can tell from the artwork of the box that they're really leaning into the. Okay, so let's see. Once again, not wrapped, uh, or I should say not sealed, just wrapped in the cellophane. Uh, what does this say? Valuable mobile writing instrument. Due to its sensitive surface, we have packed in 100% recyclable protective bag to prevent from potential scratches and transport damage. So that's neat there. They say that it's 100% recyclable plastic. Um, and I think it's the first time in many, many years that they actually have something written on their, their uh, wrapping. So here's the pen. Nothing else in the box. Just a standard flap. So I've not really taken any time to look at the symbolism of the pen, but quite clearly you've got the map, oh, sorry, the compass map, uh, whatever they call it in English. And then I think the cap is meant to uh, mimic uh, wooden siding that you might see on ships. Uh, the finial is topped with, uh, I think, a nice, well, nicely executed skull and crossbones uh, Mont Blanc emblem. Fits well with uh, the white. I think the cap is also designed to resemble, well, I should say the entire pen is designed to resemble, uh, not a telescope, whatever they call those. Uh, yeah, telescopes. Uh, clip looks like a belaying pin from a ship, pivoted, and then at the top of the finial, it's got the limited edition number and then the year. So he died, I think this is his birth and death year. Uh, yeah, he died at 44. Uh, what else do you have in here? Backwards writing, of course. What does that say? Under the wide and starry sky. Very nice. Uh, and then his signature is on the ring here. Robert Louis Stevenson. And inside the cap, uh, plastic, uh, plastic thread to bear on a metal, a metal section. So the nib is, as usual, gold. Uh, they've gone quite... Uh, elaborate this year with the inscriptions or the engravings. Let's see if we can get it to get close enough to actually be able to read the, the various letters on it. Come on. Just won't do macro for me. Well, anyway, let's see what I can see. T U S I T A L A. Hmm. Can't figure out what that means. Let's see if the booklet has any information. Uh, 
Uh, so the Yeah, okay, so under the starry, under the wide starry sky is a reference to Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. So let's see, what is this? Abbreviations. Oh yeah, okay. Tasilta. Oh, so that's his resting place. Okay, there we go. That's what that, the significance of T-U-S-I-T-A-L-A. Very interesting. As usual, wonderful video for you guys. Uh, so the barrel is, as you may have noticed, designed to mimic the crosses you might find on a map. So this particular cross designed to uh, stand out as X marks the spot. Uh, and then the cone, once again, is the, oops, that's quite tight for the, the eyepiece, eye socket of the telescope. Of course, piston filler, as usual, and let's see how it balances. It feels overall uh, more bulky, denser, I think is probably the proper word of putting it, denser than the previous, uh, the previous writer's editions, especially the, the, which one was it? I can't think of it right now. Uh, but the past few years we've had very back heavy pens once they're uncapped. This year it's a bit more balanced here. The center of gravity with the cap on is about there. With the cap off, it's further back, but the whole pen feels slightly heavier. Right, so yeah, halfway there. <laughs> Wonderful. Halfway there. So there you go. Uh, a wonderful, a wonderful little pen. I think easy to use every day. It has no no rough spots. I don't think it's gonna get dirty or collect dirt as easily as some of the other pens. Uh, section feels as usual, very standard. It feels very standard for mobile pens. So there you go. If you're a fan of nautical themes, uh, you'll definitely recognize the various elements that they're pulling on from uh, Stevenson's work. Uh, and I think not too bad of an addition. There you go. Let me know if you've got questions or comments about Robert Louis Stevenson's writer's edition. Wonderful pen.